Hello everybody! This video is about increasing the size of disk C at the expense of disk D. There are two methods to choose from. The first method is like this. It doesn't use uh, third-party programs and relies exclusively on standard Windows tools. The disadvantage of this method is that it can be useful for you only if disk D contains no important data and you can clean it. So let's begin. Right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management from the menu that appears. We can see the partition structure. Here is disk C. Here is disk D, where supposedly there is no important data. Right-click on it and choose from the menu and delete volume. Click OK. As a result, we receive an unallocated area in the disk. Then right-click on disk C and choose Extend Volume. The Volume Extend wizard opens. Click Next. Here we add uh, some space from the unallocated space. For example, let us add about 5 GB. Click Next and Ready. Now disk C is extended. To create disk D again, right-click here and, sel and select Create a simple volume. Assign the drive letter D. Click Next. Format it in NTFS. Ready. As a result, disk C has increased and disk D has become smaller. Here is the second method. If you have important data on disk D, but you need to use some of its free space to extend disk C. Unfortunately, standard tools of the operating system cannot help us. We will need additional software. For example, AMA Partition Assistant Standard. Go to the program's official website and download it. I have already done it in it advance. There shouldn't be any problems for you to do the same. Start the program. Here we can also see two partitions. But unlike Windows Disk Management, this software lets us increase the size of disk C at the expense of disk D without losing data stored in disk D. To do it, right-click on disk D and also choose and choose Change Partition Size. Specify the required number of gigabytes uh, that we will join to disk C later. Click OK. Then right-click on disk C and also choose Change Partition Size. With the help of this slider bar, fill up all the free space or enter the required number of gigabytes in this field. Click OK. Now click Apply. In the window that opens, click Go and then Yes. Ready? Everything was successful. Now check it. And really, disk C has become bigger, while disk D is now smaller and we haven't lost any data here. Thanks for watching. I hope this information was useful for you.